And it's it's really an effective skill to also be able to help translate like this problem. These are the ways it could affect us. And this is the outcome. And how do we fix that? Um, it's just most of us are going to have to know that, you know, and luckily mm -hmm. there are a lot of great resources out on doing risk assessments. And I think when I first got into it, it, it seemed so, um, you know, cloak and dagger and smoke and mirrors. And it was, I, it right. was, and because I always, and I think a lot of us, you know, you want it to be like A plus B equals C and mm -hmm. risk assessments are subjective ultimately. Um, right. And so once you get comfortable with that and put some frameworks in, they become easier, but absolutely, you know, all the compliance regimes like ISO and stuff are looking for risk assessment. And I think ultimately that helps us as leaders balance. So am I being too paranoid? You know, am I really, the conversation I want to have with my executive team is about risk and not about controls and not about technology and not about other things.